why did we do this project? So uh, since COVID-19, of course, a lot of people asked us to support projects uh, where they build um, ventilators on different levels. And I have to say, some seem to me like pure marketing stunts, other are a bit more sophisticated, uh, but we decided to start our own project and make it open source to generate a solution that might be helpful for developing countries or uh, situations where uh, really um, uh, a fast solution is needed that can be industrialized very fast and mass produced. So like perfect current control is the secret for motor control, perfect pressure and flow control is the secret of a ventilator. Yeah? So the key for us, and, and, and this is where we are experts in, 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 in perfect control, in ramping, in uh, precisely controlling uh, uh, motion. So it was pretty easy for us to also come up with a solution for perfect pressure and uh, flow control. So we decided to go for a solution, unlike others that compress an ambu bag, we decided to go for a solution that is based on a blower. And um, these blowers are uh, available, uh, they are mass produced, and they are made for, uh, mainly for CPAP devices. Others are made for real ventilators. And uh, you can see all these devices can be driven uh, by our uh, board and they generate a sufficient pressure for ventilation. Here you see the, the whole setup, which is basically our uh, setup with the Raspberry Pi and the screen and our uh, TOSD board. And um, yeah, you see a, a blower here, brushless motor blower. And uh, you see this, this, uh, this tube and our steampunk-like pressure control for us and our basically lung simulator. So the steps we started, of course, with our evaluation kit. So then um, as a next step, we integrated a pressure sensor to be able to close the loop uh, concerning pressure and to do very precise ramping with the pressure. So. Um, um, this uh, board we combined with our uh, breakout board. And uh, you see this, this was the base, but finally, in the end, we built this open source board, which was uh, hardware-wise designed by our team in Estonia. And you see it's an, it's an open source board, so you will find all the details and uh, schematics and layout and uh, bill of materials on GitHub. Of course, uh, this also needs software. So the field-oriented control and uh, the, the control loops for um, uh, current as well as for speed uh, are managed in this uh, controller here uh, in hardware in a dynamic um, uh, integrated circuit. Uh, but the user interface and, and the higher level control loops, basically we, we, we chose to implement these on Raspberry Pi because Raspberry Pi is worldwide easily available as a control device. And yeah, maybe Jonathan, you can. What we have here is a Raspberry Pi with our board on the back side. And we basically use this to interface with the board. Um, and we use for that a program that is written in Python 3. And it can basically run on every computer and every operating system that can run Python. This allows us in, in this version to um, interact with the most important parameters of our ventilator system. And we have right at this moment six parameters that we can um, control or um, manipulate for a pressure-based uh, ventilation. And we have four times and two pressures, and we can set them and uh, change them to our needs and um, interface with the board. So the next steps on our roadmap to improve this are integration of a 
uh, different flow sensors that we will try out. We will um, add safety features. We will add an uh, uh, uninterruptible power supply. Um, yeah, these are the next, next steps to, to drive this uh, basically to the next level. Yeah. And uh, the parameters of different motors, popular motors of lowers, are, uh, will be made available. As said, everything is available on GitHub. It's open source. So um, what we need now is the support of the community to give us feedback. Uh, is this useful, what we're doing? Is this helpful? What should be improved? What has to be done? Yeah? So we need the experts, the application experts, to give us some feedback or to take it to the next step. Okay, <laughs> stay healthy.